The big push for Wonder Woman is just beginning, but now it seems Warner Brothers is already developing a follow-up to their first female-led superhero film. In a report via Slash Film, Arthur Wong was in attendance at the Shanghai press event for Wonder Woman when Zack Snyder revealed on the red carpet that WB and DC Films are already planning a sequel. There's no word yet on when Wonder Woman 2 could make its way to theaters, but fans should get a better idea when the first movie hits theaters on June 2nd in just under three weeks' time. Schnett Byersell DC and Warner Brothers planning Wonder Woman 2. I buy it. I'm very excited to see that they have the faith in Wonder Woman, the first film before it comes out, that they're talking about setting up a second film. But we hear that all the time. Yes, we do. So that's not, it's nothing new, even for them to pre-announce it before the film comes out. We're planning on making Wonder Woman 2. They can plan and say, we've got a trilogy. We've got seven Wonder Womans. We're going we're gonna to make all of these movies. It depends on how much the movie makes box office wise internationally I'm, I'm with you john i think it's going to be a big hit i was very excited to hear early word from some of the screenings that it's a really fun film it's a solid film so look i i really hope that it's a great it's a, it's knocks it out of the park for dc not just financially but critically i can't wait to see the film you know one of the criticisms i've had of of warner brothers when it comes to their dc properties too has always been one they're they're reactionary we've talked about that but the other has been they've oh, they've usually lacked showing confidence in their property. And I think this is the right thing for Warner Brothers to do. Even if Warner Brothers thinks that Wonder Woman is terrible, the right thing to do is to get out and show confidence in your movie and say, you know what, we're already talking about number two. We got the plans and the works for number two. And that is the right thing to do. And as somebody who wants them to succeed, it's really refreshing for me to see Warner Brothers plant their flag and say, we believe in this and we're talking about this. Now, again, it goes back to what we were talking about Batgirl. All the best laid plans of mice and men. They they were planning seven Power Rangers movies. We were gonna get Aragon two. We were gonna get all these. This is great to talk about it, but again, if Wonder Woman opens the thirty million dollars, we ain't gonna see Wonder Woman yeah. two at that point. But again, I think this movie is gonna be a big hit. I think it's gonna be critically acclaimed. I think it's gonna make a good amount of money, and I think we are gonna see Wonder Woman two. And I'm just glad that they're getting out ahead of it and showing some confidence. Perry you had to go there, didn't you? you had <laughs> to go there Japan Power has not spoken yet. Japan, <laughs> we're right on you for more Power Rangers. The confidence, Ellis. Um, I buy this just because I want Wonder Woman to be a great movie. I want it to make a lot of money. I want them to make more of them. I'm very skeptical of this report. It seems like a weird place to have the information slip, even that you are working on a number two when you could when you could show some serious confidence in the property you're about to release and you know release a, an official uh, statement about it. You know, I don't, really, if we want to bring Power Rangers back into the conversation, clearly that didn't work to their advantage, and I think announcing yeah, seven it's films. It's one thing to say, we're already planning a sequel. It's another thing to say, we're going to have seven exactly. Power Ranger movies. And as much as I love it, out. I will admit that was a very silly decision to make. But on the one hand, when you release an official press release from the studio, that to me is a big show of confidence. This is still an unconfirmed quote that came from someone we don't know personally. Who knows what was really said and what context, what, what her intonation was when she said the sentence. I don't know, but... Until, until I get that official press release in my hands, I'm not going to get too invested because I see what happens when I get really hyped about a DCEU movie and then it's pushed back, things are shifted. Who knows what can happen? Yeah, I mean, if these reports were true, then I would welcome this news because I like when studios have some sort of plan going forward. I would much rather have you, you know, map out where this movie's going to go in the next three pictures than be like, oh, we don't think this is going to be good, so let's not even worry. Oh, crap, it did well? We got to start writing a script. Like, I like them having some idea, but I agree with John and Perry where you don't pull Power Rangers and go and announce that you have seven movies. This isn't the Power Rangers universe. And this isn't even the mummy, who I think is getting a little ahead of themselves when they're like, hey, guys, we have 19 monster movies mm. we want to tell easy let's see how the mummy does this is a comic book movie this is a big time comic book summer movie we expect sequels to that this is not shocking news to anybody to hear that oh they're thinking about doing a sequel to wonder woman of course they are they should have this mapped out because i think this movie's going to crush i think a lot of people are going to like it i think people are going to want more from wonder woman so this john boils down to like when i go to lunch you know what i'm thinking about dinner I'm thinking about the next meal I have. When I go to bed at night, I'm thinking about the nap I'm going to get the next day. You think about the next time you want to do something fun, as opposed to the one time I went to Kenny Rogers Roasters, and I was like, I'm never coming here again.